Hi, this is Pastor Harley with the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I want to read to you, oh, it's the most famous passages in the book of Ezekiel in chapter 37. You should just grab chapter 37 and read the whole thing today, right now. It says in verse 7, So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a sound, and behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone. And I looked on them, and behold, there were sinews on them and flesh upon them, the skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man. Say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they may live. Ezekiel was taken to a valley full of dry bones, and he's told to tell these dry bones to live. Preach the word of God to these dry bones. And as he began to preach, as he took this very, as it has been said, unpromising congregation and gave them the word of God, they began, began to come together. He heard the sound of bones coming together, and then he saw sinews and, and flesh form upon the bones, and then he noticed they were still not alive. Many great miracles have been worked among us, and we could still say we're not alive to God in the sense we should. We need the breath of his spirit. We need everything from God, not only the, the fullness of our bodies and, and all the wherewithal to get along, but we need his spirit at work within us. And so Ezekiel finally prophesies to the breath, to the wind, it's the same word in the Hebrew, to come in those bodies and make them live. God won't be satisfied until you are fully alive in his presence, fully all that he should be. This will be completed in heaven. It is begun now because the glory of the resurrection of Christ has shown us that indeed the dry bones can live. Amen.